Hello everybody and welcome to another product review video. Today we're going to talk about the WOW Stick, a totally different kind of pin drill that makes your life a lot easier. Let's head over to the desk and check it out. Uh, the strict technomancer that is Vinci V. Let us get to the technique and learn it Vinci V style. So as I said, today we're going to discuss the WOW Stick. Uh, this drill is this tiny little pen drill. Uh, it is from WOW Stick. I got mine from Amazon. Uh, you can find them on Amazon for between $55 to $62 here in the U.S., so not too bad of a price. Um, you get basically what you see in the box here. There is a little charging thing. It just uses a little USB-C. Uh, there is the various different uh, drill bits that you have uh, of the different sizes, depending on what you need. And then, of course, there's the drill itself. The drill itself is relatively simple. Uh, as you can see, there's basically one button. We just take the cap off. There we go. Unscrew the top piece here. We get this little brass piece. Let's select our drill bit. Take it out of there. Drop it down in that bad boy. Back in. And there we go, all set to go. And just like that. Um, it is incredibly easy to use to switch the bits on. And most importantly, the reason I think this is so good is it is, you know, I have other sort of hand drills and, you know, pin drills and stuff that, I, that I've gotten over the years. Some very old, some very new. The problem with all of them is they're just, they're relying on human power and torque, and it's as much as you can turn your hand, right? And after a little bit of use of these kinds of pin vices or, or, or drills, hand drills, you're just, your, your wrist gets tired, your fingers get tired. It's annoying, especially if you're trying to put the pins into, you know, the feet of an entire army or do 20 or 30 models or, or any kind of heavy lifting or you're trying to drill a more solid material. Um, these were not made for the miniature hobby, but I swear to you it feels like they they were. The torque on the thing is exactly the sort of speed and pressure that you would want to easily, cleanly, and smoothly go through the plastic while still retaining exactly the correct amount of control. Um, it doesn't really slip on me as long as you have a slight lead hole. That's true for all sorts of drills like this. Um, I don't have any issue with it suddenly running through the miniature and, and you know, going too hard into the paint, uh, as can sometimes happen if you're trying to use a Dremel, which is much faster, much higher speed, much more power. Uh, this hits the perfect middle ground. Now, this is effectively a single-use tool, and it is $55 to $60, so we're not talking about nothing here, right? Like, I understand that I'm coming to you and telling you that this thing you know you can get this this little guy this is probably less than ten dollars or something with with a bunch of bits and i'm telling you to spend five to six times as much as that for this thing and they will do the same thing let me be super clear if your aim is to just create a hole in something to put a pin in guess what they will both get there but i truly love this thing it is so much easier to use. It makes pinning so much faster, so much simpler, so much more efficient. Working on big models and pinning them is no longer a problem. And as a point of fact here, let's get our old friend out, Larry the Ogre. Here he is. Uh, he's back again. And, you know, let's, let's, one thing he never had was any pins in his feet. So let's just take that. Now, in this case, you often want to, to do a lead hole. I'm going to not do that just for demonstration purposes. Instead, we'll just put that right there. And you can see, bada boom. Nice, easy control, smooth, clean drill. Boom, no problem. All right, uh, put one in his other foot there. Let's just pin both feet while we're at it. Actually, that part sticks up. I think that part sticks up. Nope, that is the part that's on the ground, okay. Couldn't remember which part of his feet touched the ground. See, this is why we do a lead hole. There we go. Nice and simple. Easy. Seconds. No fuss, no muss. 
again, it is a single use tool. Uh, and that does mean that you're going to be spending a lot of money for a thing you use for one purpose and one purpose alone, putting pinholes in things. That being said, you can see I can just drop the paper clip right in there. No issue, just fine. Comes with a nice selection of different size drill bits. Um, I don't know exactly what size they are, but I know that there are the, the two normal paper clip sizes, which are these two. There is a drill bit that matches each of those paper clip sizes. So that's really all I care about because that's what I use for my pins. Uh, if you're talking about doing smaller pins uh, up like for, for weapon joints and stuff like that, also very easy. Uh, let's put that guy away. Let's get out this guy, we'll go a little smaller. Again, you can also just change the bits so quick and easy. Uh, and let's go ahead and run that right there. Let's get a nice deep drill hole there. There we go. Look at that. There we go. And now we've got an easy weapon pin just in seconds. It, it, it will get you addicted. That's how that's in there. So again, nice and deep, super fast, super simple. This is the best single use product I've ever bought. Um, this originally, you know, full credit to Ninjon who turned me onto this thing originally, but I've got to say, I really love it. Um, one of the better investments I've made in the hobby charges very rapidly. Uh, you don't even have to charge it very often. I have used this thing for months at a time with pretty regular drilling without charging it. Uh, so you really, I mean, it's meant to run longer than we're really using it for the miniature hobby. So you can get just a lot of use out of it. But when you need to charge it, simple plug into USB-C right into the bottom there and you're good to go. Uh, the design itself is it's very sturdy it's durable it's a nice design it's clean uh yeah i mean i don't know what else to say it is expensive but in my estimation it is completely worth it it has made pinning things so much easier it has made just every you know when i'm doing conversions kit bashing just attaching figs onto bases it has made that all so simple no more am i sitting there hurting my wrist grinding into my palm wearing out my fingers when I need to paint later. Instead, pop this bad boy out, put in the little drill bit. Three seconds later, I've got a, the hole drilled and it's done. Completely worth it to me. I give it an absolute A. Uh, it's a wonderful addition to my hobby set and I'm thrilled to own it. I recommend you check it out if you feel that spending 55 to $60 is sort of within your price range of things you're willing to do on this hobby. Uh, if you've got any questions about it, you know, hey, drop those down below. Uh, happy to help. But uh, yeah, that's the Wow Stick Pen Drill. I will include a link below to Amazon so that you can go check it out yourself. So there it is. It's a very simple little drill. It's a single-use tool that does have a decent cost on it, but it works really well. And that's what I value. Uh, it has exactly the right torque and speed for plastic that you can very quickly and easily get your, the holes you need drilled without really risking any kind of damage to your miniature. And that's what I like. It's a solid A rating from me. Like I said, the link is down below if you want to check that out. But thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it, give it a like. Subscribe. We have new reviews here every two weeks. Uh, new uh, tutorials every Saturday. If you've got questions, drop those down in the comments below. I always answer every question asked. We've also got a Patreon focused on taking your next step on your hobby journey. You can find that link down below. But as always, I thank you so much for watching this one, and we'll see you next time.